So it's been three weeks, just over, um, since we launched Sea of Thieves, right? Mm. Um, quite an intense time, I think, for the studio. Yeah, I think so. I think it's a point at where you know we've we've launched this game, this this place we've always wanted to be, but now it's a time to see how our players interacting with their content. What are some of the top feedback points, and then how does that affect their plans going forward, right? Indeed, yeah. And what we want to talk about today is our plans moving forward, right? So, you know, we've heard a lot of everyone asking, like, what are your plans for content? How do you plan to grow the game? Um, and you know, in the last couple of weeks since launch, since we we kind of had our week of launch where it was all just make sure it's stable, make sure it's working as we uh, as we expect. Uh, it's then been, okay, what's the top feedback points, like you say? How are people playing? Yeah. How does that feed into our content plans moving forward? Yeah, I mean, this is it, right? I mean, we've always had, I mean, of course, as we're building again, we've got a view of how we want to take the game forward. But I think we're in this different world now where we have, we have this huge audience that's playing their game and they've got different player types. They're playing the game in different ways. And, you know, we've had our view on how we wanted to take this game forward. But I think now it's about working with the community to bring the right things in at the right time. So when we're looking at our plans in terms of bringing stuff into our, our content plans, there's a few filters we put on things, mm. right? You know, when we look at like new ways to play for players, yeah. that's that's a way we want to grow and uh, update the game. Um, like we always want to give kind of new goals, new rewards. Yeah, more kind of incentives to kind of go and have these adventures in the world. I think that's important as well. Yeah. Uh, and I guess ways to enrich the world. Yep. So while you're out there having these adventures, there's more things that can engage you and surprise you while you're out there having these awesome voyages. Yeah, and we always want to kind of bring players together in mm. interesting ways yeah. as well. Right? We're always trying to encourage those different kind of player encounters. That's right, yeah. Um, uh, and then, and ultimately I think just overall, broaden the kind of the journey to Pirate Legends, so the, the way that you can become a legend and stuff, right? So giving different options, different ways to kind of progress on that, yeah. on that journey. And then from Pirate Legend as well, add, like broaden that journey to beyond, right? Exactly. Um, so that's how we kind of select stuff that goes onto our roadmap. And then I think as important as that is also the cadence in which we plan to kind of update the game and give players new things to yeah. do. Um, and really we can divide that into two sections, I mm -hmm. guess. Um, uh, one of those is weekly events. I mean, we've always kind of talked about that idea that Sea of Thieves is an ever-changing place. And I think this is where these events come in, which is it week on week changing the things you can go and accomplish in the game and having these like challenges to go and accomplish and ways to showcase the new content that we're adding to the game. I think that's what's so important about this consistent rhythm of events that we add to the game. And then alongside those, um, which are always going to give players like new goals and rewards, like you say, introduce new mechanics yep. and stuff, and we'll, we'll touch on the details of those in a bit, I think, um, is these kind of larger content updates, right? Yep. And so, the first of those um, in, in our plan uh, is the Hungering Deep. Yeah. Yeah, that we're bringing um, in May to players. So the Hungering Deep introduces a new AI threat to see if these, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, uh, and what we're trying to do here though, above just introducing that, that AI threat, we want to try and encourage players to interact different, different ways, right? And so trying to bring crews together um, yeah, I mean, uh, around this threat. That's right. I mean, it's, this, is a, this is a new AI threat that can threaten you while you're out there in the world having, the, having these adventures, but at the same time we want to showcase in a cool and interesting way. So when this new AI threat is added to the world, it comes with uh, a new item, um, it comes with uh, a new way for that could bring crews together and bring players together, and also new things to go and achieve and new things to go and unlock. Uh, but again, reflective of their approach is that when we introduce something like this, beyond that it becomes a permanent fixture in the world, but it's showcased in a really cool and interesting way first. Yeah, we're giving players a goal that they've got to go and kind of work with other crews to kind of almost uncover this threat in the world. That's right. right? Um, uh, and then there are some other tools that come with that that help with communication with other crews and stuff, right? Um, uh, that, yeah, I think just gives players something. It's, it's a different way to play really around this, right? And it'll be a timed kind of event that this will be present That's for. Right. Um, there'll be some cool stuff we're going to do around it a little bit before, a little bit of teasing around it and stuff. There's going to be some fun stuff to look out for there. Um, but then, yeah, that, that is now present in the world. Like once that kind of event ends, everything we've introduced there is now also just there to enrich the world. That's right. Those items, those mechanics, yep. um, plus this new AI threat in the world is now just a part of Sea of Thieves. Yes, yeah. Right. And everyone's going to have the value when they go and play in the game. Yeah. Play the game. Yeah. And then we transition to our weekly events um, strategy um, before we kind of get towards the next content update. Yep. Um, it's about now doing weekly events in Sea of Thieves. And there's many different ways we want to kind of do events, right? Some is uh, introducing new mechanics to mm -hmm. the world in a, in a cool way that yep. really kind of maximizes the value and gets as many people using it and understanding it's, yep. it's arrived. Yeah, that's right. Um, some is 
like perhaps introducing a new way to play, right? So like within an existing trading company, you could be adding a, a, a completely new way to play um, for players, um, you know, to help enrich that journey towards um, legend. And some is just reusing cool things in the world or the world we've already got or some of the mechanics we've already got, right? We've got this beautiful world to explore um, and arguably there's not enough reasons and motivation to really go out and explore and people find these amazing underwater caverns or underwater ruins or hidden caves and stuff. Um, and you know, it's it's really fun to go and find that, but then it's like you kind of feel like you should be getting a reward for for, for, for going there, right? So, um, introducing like a hidden treasures event, where like an NPC will tell you they you know maybe they've they've lost some stuff in the world or someone's stolen it. You've got to go out and find it, and it gives you that real reason to uh, to explore the world, find these treasures. Yeah, and maybe bring areas of the of the game that haven't been into play really yet. Like we've had this. We've got this beautiful underwater world, and like, like you say, there's the reefs and there's those little rock structures below the waves. And I think bringing those areas of the game uh, into play more, I think that's going to be our focus going forward as well. Yeah, and so with these events, like, like I think you said, but you, you're, there will be rewards, there'll be custom rewards, time things that you, if you go and do them during this time period, you'll get exclusive stuff, right, um, um, for players. And like when you're doing events, you'll get rewards that help you progress within those um, existing That's right, yeah. too. So this is, you know, if you've been working through the Merchant Alliance or whatever for, for ages, but you want to progress quicker in that, like by going and doing events that are kind of separate from it, we also want to help you progress in the, um, to, to just feel path to I think that's right. And you're going to be doing it along the way, right? You could be out there, you know, on Gold Hoarder Voyages, on Merchant Voyages, but you know, you've got these events in your mind as well that you want to seek and get progress in. Yeah. So it's it's more things that kind of enrich the journey that you're on. Yeah. And so that's just an example of, of how we would use our existing world, right? Um, but then if we were to introduce new mechanics, and one of our favourite ones that we're, um, that we're looking at right at the moment and we're working on um, is Cursed Cannibals, mm -hmm. right? And, and so for us, introducing these into the world is just going to add a ton of variety to every session. Well, this is right. I mean, we've already got a series of mechanics in the game that around resource gathering. There's obviously the simple things like the barrels on the islands. We've got the barrels that float in the water. There's shipwrecks. There's kind of this, there's that little goal right now to go out there and resource gather for the good of the ship and for the good of the crew. I think any variety we add there is going to enrich that value, mm -hmm. which means that when you come across another ship, you're going to know less about what they have. Yeah. I think adding more variety into the encounters between players, whether that's through co cooperation or conflict, I think that's going to bring a hell of a lot of value to the game. You know, what's great about the, the weekly events is that it's a great way for us to announce the content yeah. rather than just doing a set of patch notes. Yes. We're announcing it through the world, right? Yeah. We're announcing it by saying that it, it's around an NPC, it's, a, it's around a new way to play, it's around a new goal to go and achieve. Yeah. So all of our players know that we're adding content to the game in a really cool way rather than just saying, we've just added this thing, go find it. Yeah. Another way that we want to reuse existing mechanics in cool in cool ways for um, weekly events is something like skeleton thrones is another thing that we're that we're looking at internally, which is adding a bunch of thrones around the world, right? Like in really hard to reach places yeah. um, that the skeletons are placed there because they like to sit at the top of. Uh, of course they do. Of course they do. <laughs> surveying their what they believe is their kingdom. Kings of the world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but just having an event there where we introduce this in the world, and now you've got to really just go and explore, find these things in the world, and then figure out how you're going to get up there, right? And um, uh, and go and sit in their thrones, take a selfie. Um, but uh, like, <laughs> but just generally, like that's that's the kind of stuff that we want to do when we're reusing kind of existing mechanics. Definitely, and uh, this is this is one of my favourites. It's I just love the fact that we're going to add these skeleton thrones and just finding them, yep. seeing them up there in a high yeah. peak, spotting them with your spyglass, and actually getting to it is almost a reward in and of itself. But then actually rewarding it with something tangible. Yeah. So. You're getting up there and you're getting a, you know, it's, it's a cool screenshot moment, but we're going to give you cool rewards in the game for f being inventive and using the, you know, firing yourself at cannons in new and interesting ways. Yeah, like that's, that's what we can do in our game because there, there is so much variety with the tools that we already have, even without then going and adding the new content and bringing yep. that stuff in. So our weekly events are going to be a mix of that stuff. Okay. Um, uh, but each time it's going to be something new. It's going to help you kind of progress on your journey to legend. It's going to give you new rewards. Mm -hmm. And I think these events that we want to run weekly, these are a way that we're going to be enriching the world week on week and getting that rhythm of these consistent updates where players are, you know, hopefully always looking forward to what we're adding uh, each week. But ultimately, these are building up to these larger content drops, right? Yeah, absolutely. And so we've talked.
talked about the, the hungering deep in as much detail as, as, as we can. Um, and then the next one that we're heading ahead towards is cursed sales, right? Alluding a little bit to what's in there. Yeah, yeah, and this is this is another new AI threat that we're adding, right? This yeah. is a new thing that can engage you and your crew while you're out there having these adventures. Yeah, quite different as well to what's in the hunger. Yeah, yeah, I think I think hopefully a little bit unexpected. I think that's yeah. why we want to be a little bit more mysterious around what that entails exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's also a new way to play um, for players, in introducing a new ship type for yep. players to play on. That's right, yeah. 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 And a new way for uh, crews of different sizes to be able to have a slightly different experience and have more variety of just being out there and just seeing sh another different ship type. Out. Yeah, yeah. And obviously alongside that, it will bring kind of new mechanics, new features, right. just alongside that, that wrap it and new That's rewards, right, yeah. new cosmetics, etc., cetera, for, yeah. um, for players. Um, and then as we head towards the third one, which is Forsaken Shores, mm. uh, again, alluding to, um, to what might be coming in that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we've talked about enriching the world, but I think this is, a, this is a new area to explore. And, you know, we don't just want to add more of the same. This is something a little bit different, and we want this to feel much more perilous. So when you're going on a voyage into this new area, um, you really feel like you're, you know, you're taking on these extra odds and it's going to be a new type of adventure that you can go and have. Yeah. Alongside this more perilous kind of part of the world, uh, we're also planning on introducing a new AI threat alongside that yeah. that's very much themed mm. to, to that part of the world. Yeah. Right? Again, yeah. very different to what we're bringing in beforehand. So really trying to add that, that, that difference, that variety um, to the threats that you're going to encounter yeah. um, out there in the world. Yeah, I mean, more, more of that fantastical that we love so much on Exactly, scenes. yeah. And so that takes us kind of through summer, and then as we go head into fall and, and winter, we plan three more major updates yeah. um, uh, during the rest of the calendar year, uh, and all the while doing weekly events in between. And I think that like another piece that's important for people to understand is that that's no extra cost when we add these. Um, so our content updates, the weekly events and everything, are all they're all available to all players, because um, yeah. we never wanted to do anything to separate players no. and give some people content they, that they can play with only them and then others. So yeah. that's never been our intent. Absolutely. This is the start of the journey, so yeah. yeah. Welcome aboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, game, the game is going to like, continue to grow and be, and be enriched from this point onwards. Right? Yeah. yeah. And it's really exciting. Like It really is to be to be now through our Insider program, through the Alphas, through the Betas, through launch, and now we're looking at how we grow um, the, the game from this point on. And it's always been our plan all along to, to grow and evolve Sea of Thieves, yeah. to take feedback, to listen, and um, you know, we are everywhere in terms of listening and, and oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of hearing what people are saying, right? Yeah, and I think I think that's the that's the it is a privilege. And like absolutely the, there's all these kind of inputs, whether it's you now you know, I've got this addiction to Reddit now and I'll read in our internal forums, the tweets that we get from people playing our game. I think all of this is a source for information. And players should expect that, you know, when, when there's, there's, there's a keen kind of appetite for things in the game, of course we're going to want to like build content around those features, do so in a sea of these way. Well, at the same time, you know, we're going to do things unexpected. We're going to do things that they're when we announce them, they're going to think, oh, I can't believe they actually did that. Yeah. I think I think that's the kind of balance that we want, where it's a mix of content that's, you know, it, it, it's, it's really cool, it's, it's really obviously going to enrich the world, but also stuff that's really going to surprise and delight our players. I think there's going to be a real mix, but, you know, we're going to be consistently, just constantly getting that communication from our players, no matter what the format. And this is their chance now to, to you know, to do what's always been our plan, which is to have this close relationship with players as we continue to build out the world of Sea of Thieves. Cool. Yeah. So I think that's it. Like I think we've discussed what our plans are now, um, and we look forward to questions, feedback, and everything else, and all of the different um, kind of channels and way that, that Mike talks about. So um, yeah, thanks very much for listening, um, and we'll see you out on the seas.